Many have asserted that the first time Bitcoin futures were launched, a planned market crash followed. The exchange that launched those futures back in late 2017 is gearing up for more institutional products in two months' time so what impact will that have this time around? The Chicago Mercantile Exchange is expanding its institutional Bitcoin product lineup. According to a press release one of the world's leading derivatives marketplaces announced that, pending regulatory approval, options on its BTC futures contracts will be available for trading starting January 13, 2020 just two months from today. CME Group Global Head of Equity Index and Alternative Investment Products, Tim McCourt, stated, The Bitcoin futures market has shown strong growth since it was first introduced two years ago. The average daily volume of 6,500 plus contracts in 2019 is equivalent to around 32,500 BTC. According to the release almost half of the trading volume is outside the US. The primary difference between futures and options is that the contract holder is obligated to sell a futures contract on the expiry date. With options there is no obligation to sell the contract on expiry, giving greater flexibility which of course may impact market prices. Investopedia goes into more detail on the differences. When the CME and CBOE launched Bitcoin futures contracts in December 2017, it was during the market peak. It was widely reported that the US government planned this to enable mass shorting of the asset which would burst the bubble. It was a resounding success, three months later Bitcoin had dumped 60%. According to former CFTC chairman, Christopher Giancarlo, the Trump administration had this in mind all along, this time around the scene is very different, there has been no massive crypto hysteria, the crypto scene has matured and retail and institutional investment has steadily grown. Therefore there will be no huge incentive to short Bitcoin because it is not at its peak. Options are more flexible than futures and, just as BACT will eventually do, it will increase liquidity for Bitcoin markets which will be bullish for long-term prices.